hi if you are a final year ug student or a pg student you should watch this video of course if you are a professor please share this video to your students so that they will be benefited out of it you can see the proposal here so this is what the proposal and uh, the last date for online registration is 38 2022 5 pm that is we have still seven days more to go okay we can start working on it that is online registration you don't want to submit any hot copy but you have to submit before 7 9 2022 that is september yes let us see what and who are all uh, into it like who can submit it so tamil nadu state council is for the benefit of uh, our state under the scheme final year ug students okay if you are an engineering ug student you can go ahead if you're a pg science students pg professional students who have dissertation work in their curriculum may apply so financial support up to uh, 10000 will be provided to each project so to two copies of the proposal complete in all the aspects i will show you what type of proposal you have to create and what is the format for that so don't worry about it the students must, must apply through the link so this is where the link if you want to apply through the online then you can definitely use this link i'll show you what are the uh, uh, what are the form what are the fields you have to fill up in the online application okay and the next one is uh, you have to register and upload the soft copy of the project details so i'll also tell you what are the important thing which you have to keep it in the soft copy okay project proposals without registration uh, in the above link will be will not be enter considered and no communication will be entertained in this regard so the thing is like you have to first register through online okay and uh, it should have a prescribed format i'll also show you the format as well and uh, here are the sectors which they are expecting that is agricultural science biological science environmental science medical science physical science social science veterinary science csc computer science it and civil mechanical triple e chemical engineering of course everything okay so these are all the general instructions student project will be eligible for maximum grant of 10000 so it is for maximum grant okay and uh, any sector the project team can have up to maximum of four students you can have four students a team should send only one proposal so four students together you should send only one proposal uh, and uh, submitting more than one proposal will lead to the cancellation of the all the proposals okay so you should not send more than one proposal and uh, you should have your project guide hod needs to evaluate the project proposal and you have to submit the project proposal to the tnscst as given okay so they will uh, they'll be pro so this is what uh, the instructions in tamil as well if you want to just go ahead you can check it down here so here this is the online submission form the online submission form is living given in the pdf itself you can find it over there so it should have an email id your name of the guide designation department uh, name of the institution institution with pin code what is the district guide contact and the project title uh, sector in which uh, your project proposal is to be considered so sector in the sense like as they told which sector okay like admission a similar project been carried out in your college or elsewhere no it should not be carried out anywhere okay institution category uh, if it is carrying out then just change the um, change the uh, view of uh, that and before writing the objectives and everything and uh, institution category what is your institution category student studying and the project details so in your project detail it should have only maximum of three pages okay and it should show what is the introduction of your um, um, project and what is the objective you are going to uh, do methodology what methodology you are going to carry out work plan budget and any other details if you want to add up okay so you can download the application form file from here so if you click here it will open up and it you can download the application form okay so here you will have a detailed application form this you have to attach along with the copy of the proposal which you are going to submit it okay so here you can see the complete information about what are all the things which you have to um, submit it okay three pages and everything 
and you have to add the file which contains all these uh, content like all these data and finally you have to add the file and if you click next after completing all these things if you click next you will get some more detail into it now let us see how to prepare the template okay because uh, of course while you submit your uh, um, to submit your thesis sorry to submit your uh, uh, that is your write-up you need uh, project details you need these things to be written there okay to, to be there so I'll just show you how what you what are the things you have to write it okay so here it's a sample project proposal I'm just going to show you this is a sample project proposal this should be your first page that is uh, Tamil Nadu state government and everything so, Tamil Nadu state council for science and technology this is a pro uh, this is the title of the project this is a sample title I have given don't use the same title here okay this is already submitted so product recommendations based on users textual uh, opinion and here you have to give the college logo and submit it by what is the name of the student okay so this same sample you can also use it to submit if you are a professor or if you want to submit uh, any other fund for a fund or a scholarship scheme you can definitely use the same template okay so name and the student because since we are going to apply for the students so the student which year the student is uh, studying and what is the department and everything okay college everything and the submission and the submission month and the year if you're going to submit uh, august august to 2022 okay and this is the application for the science of projects so this should be the first line which i have showed it here right so here you can see this is the project okay so here this is your uh, format it should be like a name of the student email id phone number because since four students are allowed per project so you can write your name name of the guide and mobile and the phone number project title and what is the sector of the project this completely you have to write properly like a chemical engineering computer science or something like that and project details it should be only three pages that is these things should be there so i'm just going to show you what are the things you have you can write it okay and finally you have to write the certification certificate here okay that is this is to certify the student name uh, uh, is a bona fide final year student of a pg science or if you are a ug then you can write it to ug okay so this is what exactly it should have interaction so your interaction should be very clear and precise uh, introduction is not like if you are uh, for example if you are writing the project proposal for data mining related uh, project then you should not write from the scratch like data mining is extraction of like that you should not start okay so you have to write what is this exactly and why you are going to do this project okay and objective of the project you should mention in a points okay even if it's a three point or two points it should be very clear and it should be very very um good okay it should be perfectly it should convey perfectly like what you're going to do what is your exact objective and methodology methodology you can tell what are the methodology like stepwise okay if you're going to do a data mining project then what should what 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 is your first level like gathering the requirements collecting the data likewise so what you're going to do scrap reviews scrapping the reviews like big data uh, and what is the next step okay all the methods you have to write it uh, don't write more than two lines because it will exceed the total number of pages okay so uh, if possible give it in a uh, image format okay write it in a give it in an image format and then you have to write the work plan okay that is what we have seen here that is a work plan you have to write it right so for the work plan you have to tell what you're going to do in the one year span of time okay what you're going to do in the first month second month third month fourth month fifth month based on the methodology in the methodology we have given right so for this methodology if you want to complete this one how long it will take for the uh, of, uh, specifically within the month you have to write that and the next one is the budget so since it is a computer science related project so i have estimated this budget like this okay books and online journal articles uh, softwares internet uh, travel consumables like that if you want to go ahead with some other it's like for example if you're a chemical engineering student you can instead of writing a uh, software or internet you can write like what are the instruments you need like laboratory instrument you need to do that okay 
so for that you can calculate this is approximately i'm just telling you like how much how you have to write the budget you have to split up and write it and you have to tell the justification of the budget you have to justify why should i need this okay why i need this book and online journal article because you have to access those things to understand and uh, i have given the some justification for that okay why i need a software why i need to buy a software why i need the pen drive everything you have to justify very precisely and then any other details in the sense what is the research which is already carried on this specific um, topic okay like a project which is already done and what are the flaws in that and why i am just uh, trying to enhance it everything you can give and you can give a sample references ensure that the sample references are between 5 years of time like if you are submitting 2020 2022 then it might be from 2016 Okay, uh, two thousand sixteen, two thousand seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. It'll be fine. Okay, and it should be a Scopus or uh, a well-renowned journal. It it should be published in a well-renowned journal. Ensure that it is like that. Okay, sample of five is enough, and then facilities available in your organization because you are going to do it in your organization. So you should specify what is the facilities which are available, and how you can do it very well in your. Uh, in your organization itself okay so this is what the complete detail you can see that uh, these introduction to any other details it will be around 3 pages 3 to 4 pages okay 1 2 3 4 okay only 4 pages 3 pages approximate and then apart from that only 2 pages is for the front page because of course we are going to submit the proposal it should be in a proper format for that you have extra one pages one or two pages okay so start start um uh, start preparing for this you have 7 days more of course if you are a, a ug final year student or a pg student you will have some project in your mind if you are a pg student you might have done a project in your ug which should be published which should be which may be a uh, very um very good project which has to be get some funds and enhance the project so if you have already done any project in the ug you can enhance that you can propose that to the to your um, um uh, professors and tell them that that can be enhanced and you can apply for this project okay so try this and uh, hope you will uh, you will get this fell uh, you will get this grant you can add this in your portfolio okay in your uh, for your career it will be definitely useful for your career so don't miss this exciting chance all the best if you have any doubt regarding this please leave the comment take care bye bye